Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing really well. Um, today's video is going to be my unboxing of this month's Birch Box. Oh, I've just realised I kind of match with the box. Um, I wasn't expecting this to come yet. I saw on Birch Box's Instagram page that they are, you know, trying to keep their workers safe so that I think they're like having less um, workers like, packing the boxes and stuff so they can keep their distance from each other and therefore um, people's boxes were going to be sent out later um, on in the month. So I really wasn't expecting to get it yet. Today is the 10th and this came yesterday I think. Um, so yeah I was really impressed with that but obviously getting a box early or on time isn't like a priority of mine right now. But hey it's here. Um, this month uh, the box has been designed by Anthropology. Uh, I actually, I don't think I've ever bought anything from Anthropology, but I've heard quite a bit about them and I think from what I've heard that people like from them, like I know that they make mugs and some crockery in like really beautiful designs, um, I don't really know what else they do but I will like have a look, um, but yeah so it's quite like a pretty pretty box there. Let's just go straight into it. So Birch Box is £12.95 a month. That includes postage and packaging. Um, we also have a little code in here for 20% off your next purchase. And then there's a code here, but it's quite a long code. So part of me thinks they might be personalised or like individual codes. So I'm not going to put it on the screen, but there's 20% off Anthropology online and in store. Um... And then there's some kind of like competition where you have to scan the code on here to win £500 anthropology spending spree and a six month Birchbox subscription. Hmm, I may as well just try that out. But yeah, anyway, so let's have a look. Um, okay, I don't know where to start. Let's start with the choice. So uh, the choice we got for this month was between two shades of a... Um, like a colour changing lip balm by the brand Kinder Beauty. I think it's meant to be Kinder. It's K-N-D-R Beauty. Um, and they have a mood balm and we could have had Positivity Pink or Sorbet Serenity. And I went for Positivity Pink. Um, this is full size and RP is for £13. Um, firstly, I really like the packaging. It's like this cardboard case and I just think that the pattern is really quite funky and cute and I'm quite like a sucker for like cool packaging and on here it says be kinder so I guess it is the brand is called kinder but this is the lip balm it's kind of hard to twist I would admit um but yeah it looks like purple and then if I just pop it on my hand and like rub it back and forth a few times I wonder if you'll be able to see it, but it, I guess it just adapts to like the pH or the warmth of you and then it turns into like this like little pinky sheen. Very shiny. I tried this on last night when I was in bed and I was really impressed by just how smooth the lip balm felt and how smooth my lips felt when it was on. Um, I was really impressed with that. It felt like really, really smooth and I really liked that. Um, I wouldn't pay £13 for a lip balm though, but still. <laughs> um, it says in the little leaflet, Nowadays we expect a bit more than just hydration from our lip balms. Um, the colour shifting formula adjusts to your unique pH, creating the perfect hue, hue for you, whilst simultaneously moisturising, of course. Um, yeah, I, with pHs, like, it doesn't make the perfect colour for us, surely. It just... Because your pH isn't your skin tone. I don't know. But hey. I like it anyway. It's good. I would definitely use it. And I would probably like use it up. I love a good lip balm. So that's good. I'm happy with that. Um, the next product is by a brand that I don't know how to say. Hygens. Hygens. Um, this is an organic purifying face wash. Infusion Blanche. Revitalisation. Purification stressed skin this is what it looks like um here we have 30 mils um and a full size is 
RFPs for £21. So it says sweep away the day without stripping essential moisture with this purifying cleanser. Ideal for all skin types, the blend of tea tree, aloe vera and glycerin eliminates every last trace of makeup okay, and dirt without leaving your skin feeling dry or tight. Just bright, clear and healthy. Gently massage onto wet skin, then rinse and go. Um, it also says glycerin naturally draws moisture to the surface of your skin. Win. Okay. So a nice little cleanser. That would be quite nice to try out, I suppose. Um, it says like apply to wet skin. So what I would probably do, even though it says it will take off makeup and dirt, I would probably use like a makeup remover kind of cleanser and then use this as my second cleanse. Um, but yeah, let's give it a little sniff. It smells quite like uh, tea tree oil, um, but not like a very, very strong tea tree oil scent. But yeah, okay. Um, I will try it and I will let you know, like always at the end of the month, what I thought of it. The next thing is something by Brushworks and it says it's exclusive to Birchbox and it's a facial silicone cleansing pad. Uh, gentle daily exfoliator, deep pore cleansing, ultra hygienic and allergy free. Uh, so it's just one of these little, I'm sure you've all like, probably seen them before, but like a little pad that's got kind of like little silicone bristles on and on the back it's got space so it'll like fit between your fingers and you can hold it between your fingers and then you kind of like put your cleanser on your face and then you use this to rub it in. I've already got one of these by Soap and Glory and I never use it. I've also got a um, Foreo Luna Play which is one that's like vibrating and even though I've, I've used that quite a few times I haven't used it like recently um, and I don't need another one of these so I'm going to put it into a giveaway. Um, the flexible silicone pads have tiny bristles that invigorate the skin and effectively cleanse pores while exfoliating and softening your skin. Gently massaging the face, help with helping to deliver deep cleansing results, ideal for the removal of stubborn makeup and skin impu impurities. I was going to say impu impurities. Um, RRPs for $4.99, but it doesn't say this is the full size, so is it, the picture is of two of them, so I don't know whether they come in a two pack for $4.99, I don't know. So yeah, I'll be popping that in my little giveaway box. Um, the next thing is something which is definite has definitely appeared in a few beauty boxes and beauty advent calendars before. It's by Nooks and it's their thing that I can't pronounce, um, the multi-purpose dry oil for face, body and hair. Um, we've definitely had a couple of these. I've definitely had one of these in Birchbox in like the other scent that they do. Um, and I've definitely had one of these, but I don't know whether it's from Birchbox or an advent calendar, so, you know. Um, it is nice, and it does smell really nice, to be fair. Um, it's, you know, quite small. A little sample, it is 10 mil here. A full-size uh, RRP is for £29.50. Um, I think because we just see it so much, I'm a bit like underwhelmed by it, having it in the box. Um, but it's still re it's still a nice product. Um, yeah. In the leaflet, it says this gorgeous blend of six essential oils, including almond, camellia, and hazelnut, hydrates skin and leaves a velvety sheen. The vitamin E rich formula is super versatile too. Warm a few drops in between the palm of your hands and smooth over your face and body or work through the ends of your hair. I have to say I've never used it on my face or in my hair before. I've only ever used it on my body. Um, I might try it on my face. Um, and maybe I'll try it on my hair. I don't wash my hair very much. I probably wash my hair every four days. I mean, I actually try and push it as much as I can. So if I can go more than four days I will um, and sometimes when I've like um, had it down a lot and I've been using dry shampoo and I haven't washed it and or conditioned it the ends can go quite dry um, and that's when I would kind of put like an oil or, some, or serum in my hair so I might try this actually next time I kind of get to that stage of my hair washing and then the last thing is by Percy and Reed which is a hair care brand that um, we 
do see quite often in batch box we also see a brand called number four which is another hair care brand um this is the no fuss fabulousness dry shampoo we have 50 mil here um this is their travel size oh okay the, this is a travel size and rps for six pounds i think that's a lot <laughs> when I can get a big Batiste for half that price. Um, I will say, I will definitely try this, but I've tried a few dry shampoos. I've tried one by Amica or Amica, and I've tried the Soap and Glory one. I didn't like either of them. I also tried another one, can't remember. Um, but I haven't found any that I prefer over my Batiste ones. So, yeah. Um, this is the oh my goodness no fuss fabulousness dry shampoo ideal for those in between days this volumizing oh i love a bit of volume on my hair my hair is so like straight and flat i always back comb it like this is it back combed and you probably think it just looks like normal hair um <laughs> ideal uh yeah i've said that already this volumizing dry shampoo gives a little life to roots and hair a freshly washed look with just a few spritzes. The unique formula contains ultra fine corn flour, which absorbs excess oil without leaving a residue in your hair, so you can say goodbye to white streaks. That's very handy. <laughs> the limited edition fragrance with peony, rose, and rhubarb will leave hair smelling oh so wonderful. That sounds like it smells amazing. I kind of want to spray it now. It's got a little ball in, I'm quite impressed by that. It does smell really nice oh lovely it's not like a really strong scent but yeah it does smell really nice so yeah i'm intrigued by that so we will see how i get on with that um but that is everything that was in this month's birch box we also have a sneak peek for a minute there i thought they were hair bands and i was about to get really annoyed <laughs> um but these are oh okay uh, our sneak peek is a mascara called the Bloom Mascara by Manakadar, and we get to pink. So it says the same intensely volumizing formula in a hot pink or cool aqua tube. So we're going to get the same mascara. It's just that they come in two different color tubes. Um, interesting. I like the look of the tube, how it like looks twisted. Um, but that is our choice. Um, so we just aesthetically get to pick what colour the tube is which okay I mean I'm not really that fussed about it I don't know which colour I would go for um but I'm intrigued I love mascaras I'm really into trying different mascaras I don't know if I've received a mascara in my birch box that I've actually liked before I had one from Botanic Beauty that I really didn't like and one by Marcel um as well which I really didn't like um but we've oh we've had some benefit ones in Birchbox before and I love the benefit mascaras um but just to recap so we've got the um I've got the little dry shampoo which I'm quite excited to try the Nooks um body oil which I will use but again like I'm not entirely excited and thrilled and amazed by having it the um little lip balm which I am impressed with and I will definitely use that a uh, little cleanser that I can use and then the silicone cleansing pads I can put in the giveaway um let me know what you guys think of this month's box overall I get I think I'm just quite I'm not particularly impressed with it um but who knows I could try this cleanser and it ends up being like an amazing cleanser that I like fall in love with but uh, I don't have high hopes for the dry shampoo <laughs> um yeah so not overly excited and impressed but still it's not um a really disappointing box there aren't things in here that i know i would like never ever use um so yeah that's a good thing but let me know down below what you think about this month's box 
um thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and seeing what i got in this month's birch box and um, we all get like you get a beauty profile so you can get different things depending on what you've put like are your preferences about whether you like follow trends and all kinds of stuff on there so there are people who unbox birch box but we all kind of get different things um so yeah i quite like that but yeah thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in a few days in my next video bye